how do you find all the genes involved in all the diseases? And the answer is to work systematically on the genome itself. So we're at a very exciting time in terms of applying genomic information from DNA sequencing, from whole genome sequencing, from panels, from arrays, and possibly RNA sequencing, and seeing how this fits in the healthcare and the health management uh, of disease uh, for, for an individual. So at the end of 2018, uh, we announced the completion of the 100,000th genome that was part of the 100,000 Genome Project. That sent ripples around the world. I was once at a meeting. I said, any of you had your genome sequenced? No hands went up. How many of you would have your genome sequenced? A couple of hands went up. If you had cancer, would you have your genome sequenced? Every hand shot up. The future is that the adoption needs to become commonplace, it needs to become routine, it needs to fit into nationally funded healthcare systems, it needs to fit into privately funded healthcare systems, it needs to be translated to hundreds of other languages around the world and to areas with different levels of investment that can actually be brought to bear per capita of the population. Genetic information is really important. We don't fully realize the implications yet, but a technology that can actually extract that information cheaply, quickly, makes it all accessible to people worldwide, 